Hello and welcome to today's English lesson. My name is Stuart. In today's lesson, we're looking at some business vocabulary. Let's go to the intro. Now, as I said, today's lesson is looking at business vocabulary and all of these words here are associated to business or the economy or starting a business. And the business vocabulary here could come in handy if you have an exam like first certificate or advanced and you need to speak about a business topic. These words could come in handy or even if you just want to have a conversation and talk about business with your friends, with your colleagues at work. A lot of these words can come in handy. So we're going to start by looking firstly at the economy and the sectors that the economy uh, is divided into. So for example, we normally divide the economy into a primary, a secondary and tertiary sectors. The primary sector being the raw materials, agriculture, fishing, mining, etc. Secondary is the industry that then uh, uh, takes those raw materials and turns them into a sellable product. And the tertiary sector is the services sector, where those goods come into the market, let's say. So the primary, secondary and tertiary, tertiary sector or the service sector. Now, Inside particular countries, we can have state enterprises or companies, state enterprises or companies, or private enterprises or private companies. Now, when I was younger, it was very common to have state enterprises for the telephone company, the gas company, the electric company, normally belonged to the state. But there was a process a few years ago, or many years ago now, where state companies became private companies, okay? The governments sold the company. So for example, the Australian telephone company Telstra became private. It went from a state company to a private company. Again, with the airline, with Qantas Airlines. Qantas was a, a state enterprise, then it became a private enterprise. Now, normally state enterprises are considered monopolies. So for example, Telstra in Australia was a monopoly. It controlled the whole market. If you wanted to make a phone call, you had to do it with one company. But when these companies became private companies, we got the concept of oligopolies, where there's two, three, four, five companies maybe working in the market. So nowadays in Australia, instead of having one telephone company, there's two, maybe three or even four telephone companies operating in the market. So we have gone from a monopoly to an oligopoly. Now the opposite of these two is perfect competition. Perfect competition is when there is a lot of different companies operating in the market and the prices are good for the consumer or the customer and also there's good service. Basically, it's the perfect uh, business idea of perfect competition. Not a monopoly, not an oligopoly, but perfect competition, okay? Various companies offering a service so the consumers win and also on price and also on service, okay? Now, all of these concepts operate in a market and they operate according to the principles of supply and demand. They supply a product or a service according to the demand from the public or the consumers. So market, supply and demand. Again, the word consumer. We are consumers. We consume products, okay? And the concept is called consumption. Consumers consume and in this consumption economy where we buy and sell things, we consume products. You take a product, you sell the product, somebody consumes that product, the consumer. 
Now, the idea uh, that a lot of people have is to invest or to make an investment. You take your capital, your money or your assets, and you invest that money. You can invest or make an investment in another company. You can invest in property. You can invest in different things that people offer. Uh, so you can put your capital to work. Uh, a lot of people decide to put their capital to work by starting a business. They start a business. They start maybe a small business or a medium-sized business and they invest their capital in the business. The objective of the business is to make a profit. That's the objective at the end of the day. You try to make a profit. You try to make the business profitable. However, some companies don't make a profit, they make a loss, okay? They don't make a profit, they make a loss. And one of the reasons why they might make a loss is because their overheads or their fixed costs, overheads or fixed costs, are too high. So maybe they pay too much rent for the building. Maybe their energy, their electricity, or their gas bills are too high, and they don't have enough incomes to satisfy sometimes the overheads, so the business is not successful and it closes or goes broke. So uh, when we talk about uh, types of uh, businesses, we can talk about manufacturers. And manufacturers are the people that manufacture the products. They take a product, they make the product, they manufacture the products. We talk about distributors. Distributors uh, distribute the products from the manufacturer. And then we can talk about wholesalers or retailers. Wholesalers normally are people that buy a lot of a product and they store the product, okay? In a warehouse, that would be a wholesaler. The distributor uh, could just be a, a small company that gets goods brought in from another country as the official distributor. They can distribute the goods to a wholesaler or they can distribute the product to a retailer. A retailer is the person that then sells the product directly to the people on the street. So for example, the manufacturer would make the dress, the dress would be distributed to either a wholesaler or a retailer. The retailer can buy from the distributor or from the wholesaler and then sell the product to the consumer. So all of these words related to business to help you build your vocabulary in English. Now, thank you very much for watching the lesson. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. Remember to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Share it on social media, please, as well. I'll see you in the next video English lesson. Have a good day. Bye.